Service dogs are known for their work with vets as well, and a local family has adopted a dog to help their young son with autism. And our producer, Jen Tobias Strusky, shows us it's one of many therapies that is already proving to be a good fit. He was found wandering in a park here on the south side of town, and he was emaciated and flea bitten. And so he's been in our home since May of this year, and he's great. <laughs> Say hello to Chewbacca, once living on the streets, now a service dog in training for four-year-old Rogan, who was diagnosed with autism at age two. Chewie is at his eye level um, and is a non-threatening entity that he can interact with and socialize with, and so there can be that friendship bond that Rogan needs. That companionship is a different kind of therapy for Brooke Cortez's son, one that could have cost her thousands of dollars. But thanks to the organizations, Hill the Heroes, and Paws of Texas Rescue, her son was paired with Chewy. I think it's important because one of the things in my job that I notice is that people, especially parents that have a newly diagnosed child, don't know enough about what resources are available. Rogan and Chewy actually have quite a bit in common. <laughs> so they've, they're doing really well together and Chewy actually has attempted to comfort Rogan without being prompted or commanded to. Now that Chewy is part of the Cortez family, Lyndon Valone, military veteran, dog trainer. Get close. Good boy. And founder of Build the Heroes is helping to train him to be a certified service dog. Sit. After meeting four-year-old Rogan, I'm really looking forward to working with him and his dog Chewy because he is just the smartest, brightest kid, and I can see where people aren't going to give him a chance in normal schools and things like that, and that's one of the things a dog can help do with him. And already it seems Rogan and Chewy are a perfect match. Rogan was stung by a wasp in the backyard, and Chewy literally first of all attempted to get in the bathtub with him when I was trying to get him to calm down and neutralize the sting. And then Chewy stayed with him until he fell asleep. But Chewy is a very hairy dog, um, which is actually a good thing because Rogan will go up and knead the fur on his back. Uh, he will um, lay with Rogan if Rogan is upset. So service dog or not, Chewy is proving to be a great friend for a child who could use one. There's something special about a young child that needs a dog to gain independence that makes it a little bit more special. He's just an amazing dog. Well, Lyndon Valone, founder of Heels on Heroes, joins us now, and you have Ice here. We do. With you, yes. and he's your own dog. Yes, Ice is my service dog. He's helped me out in a lot of ways. A lot of ways. Yeah. How does Ice help you? Uh, Ice was originally had the job of mitigating symptoms from post-traumatic stress pertaining to nightmares, anxiety, and panic attacks. And then I started getting vertigo spells, so he was trained to brace for my vertigo spells, so I didn't fall on the floor. <laughs> he, this is a smart animal. Yeah, he's great. Really, and he obviously loves you, and obviously that young boy that we just saw, he's got a friend for life, yeah. just like you do. It's important to know that these animals are on duty. Indeed. When you see them with their vest on. Indeed. But how does he respond, you know, for the folks watching at home, their pets, how, you know, how do you train them? What, what is the best way to do that? I mean, you're well, there's, there's a difference between work and play for these dogs and making that association with the vest that when the vest goes on, it's time to work is a hard transition. But with proper obedience and a lot of love, you can make the distinguishment for the dog that, hey, when we're putting this vest on right now, it's time to pay attention to me. Could, could I ask you to take the vest off? So Absolutely. We, Ice, we can see how he... Lyndon's telling us that yeah. it, we'll see a change in his personality. Yeah. He, so right now, Ice is leaning into me. He's still got one ear towards me. He's still listening to me. Ice, sit. Good boy. <laughs> so we'll tell him to wait. Wait. Until I get the leash back on him. So we'll completely switch up the game here. Now I'm allowed to pet him after this, Yes, right? sir. After I'll, yeah. I'll let him that. know that he can say hi, and you can definitely greet him. Okay. Ice, come here, say hi. Hey, Ice. He's going for the camera. Hey, baby. <laughs> come here. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Look at hi, you. Ice. You can just say hi. He, he's hi. just a big puppy. 
Oh, look at that. Oh, you love yeah. it. Thank you for all your help. So he's a real dog, too. Yes. <laughs> he's all over the camera. He's like, let's get my agent oh, on the phone. Oh, good boy. Yeah. What other services does your organization organization offer? So we uh, we plan to offer uh, music therapy, art therapy, yoga and massage, and one of our big awesome points that we're going to do right alongside the dogs is equine therapy. Wow, oh, horses. Wow. horses. Yeah, that yeah. is so important yeah. too. And it, yeah. it, you know, having an animal and a best friend and somebody there that's to support you no matter what. Yeah. Uh, it's incredible. That's a beautiful animal. Too. Thanks. You're doing great work, man. Thank you for your service. I appreciate you guys saying that. Thank we're, you we're so glad much. You're here. I, yeah. I'm, I'm impressed. I really yeah. am. Healtheheroes.org. That's oh. heal. Oh. Let them know, Ice. Ice. Report. <laughs> Attention. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's a good boy. Come here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 what a ham, you know. Sorry. Thank, thank you, brother. Yeah, no problem, man. Thank you. you got it. Heal the heroes.org, H E E L.org, yeah. or go to salive.com.